guys, this is basically Tisha and welcome back to my channel. Today I got a list of questions that you all asked me. Well, nobody asked me. But <laughs> these are questions that I would think you guys would ask if y'all were asking me questions. So we're here. This is my, um, I'm married to him. And so here's a list of questions that y'all may have thought about asking me but didn't ask me already because I ain't tell you gotta ask me just yet all right all right so we're gonna answer these to the best of our abilities all right think of Portland all right that's Portland that's my baby boy no not you are the baby I'm not the baby yes you are you're the baby boy I'm not the baby yes you are, you are. No, no. all right let's go all right so the people want to know who are our favorite teams. <clears throat> What's your favorite team? It's my favorite team. Lies. All right, so. LSU Tigers. <laughs> there you go. That's college football, LSU Tigers. <clears throat> San Francisco 49ers. Uh, San Francisco 49ers for pro football. Pro baseball is the New York Yankees. You don't even watch baseball. Yes, I do. Um, What's the other sport? Basketball. Who's my basketball team? The New York Knicks with a side preference of Ja Morant. We love the Grizzlies. Hometown team. Um, and then college basketball is the Yukon Huskies. Okay. So, I don't have favorite teams. I don't watch games. You're LSU fan. So, if I would... She's an LSU like, fan. If I would, oh, like, okay, hold on. I went to the University of Mississippi, so of course, hotty toddy. <laughs> but, um, if I were to and then I went to the University of North Alabama so go Lions also and then I went to ICC which I don't even know Indians I guess I don't know but if I had a favorite basketball team I probably would pick local and that would be the Grizzlies of course we just we're just gonna go with them and football team, I will stay local in Tennessee. I will say the Tennessee, whoever, Titans. Titans. Baseball, I'm gonna stay in the South. I'm gonna go with the Braves. And then, um, what, what else do I have left? Basket, I got basketball, football. You did basketball, you did college. You college. Did base, you did baseball. I did baseball. So. I mean, that's it. Did I do football? Okay, I did. I did that. All right. So. What about me? What about me? What about me? So the people are asking what we do for a living. I work. That's a, just like Portland said work. So uh, I guess all that's 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 the most important thing we work. Uh, the I thing work. I'm most I important sleep. about I... my work history is being in the United States Air Force. Staff Sergeant. Uh, work in avionics. Avionics is basically aircraft electronics. Uh, I think I'm a Marvel superhero. Is that a job watching yeah. Marvel movies? See, there you go. All right. So what I do for a living is I'm a public relations director. I direct the public of relations. She works at Ag Flag. And I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, what else do I do? I blog professionally. I'm a professional you blog, blogger. You blog. And now I am a professional, officially professional blogger. I'm pretty excited about that blog, one. Blog, blog. I blog, blog. I blog, blog. Okay, so wait, now you're blogging with a B. And then other days you're blogging with a B. Oh. B. Oh. All right, so people want to know about our animals. We got like no, we have one dog. They, they did ask dog. me about our our animals. So we, we have, have one dog. She's mixed. She's an American bulldog mixed dog. We have one baby dog. Her name is Coco. No, her government name is Ke Ke Keisha Crochet. They're not asking, they're asking me and Anthony, okay? They're one year old. Okay, we have one baby dog, and she's two years old. Her name is Coco. Keisha. And um, she is bad. She's okay. I'll insert a video of her and, and Piper. They, 
get along pretty well. She's Did you just give that dog your sock? Are you speaking dog? And Piper learned how to speak dog. I mean, if, if you don't watch Piper, she will want to share her snacks with Coco. Yes, she'll take a bite and give Coco a bite. If we take a bite, we have to watch her. With that, we saw her uh, giving Coco some pretzels. That was pretty terrible. <clears throat> All right, so what else they asked? Okay, so they asked us, what do we do together for fun? That's a good question. So <laughs> he answers all his questions by it. That's a good question. You know, so I'm so used to being in the military That's where a good you have to acknowledge every question in a way that you don't make anybody feel minimal for what they've asked. So you always have those fluff of words. So that's a good question. Right. And to that point, I think we uh, we we try to do because we run pretty busy schedules. You've never seen pictures of us out in Venice Beach si sipping mimosas but we do a lot of regional things we make a lot of fun events out of trips to other cities basically what he's saying is we're so busy we don't really do that much together um but we try we, really we get try. we get creative and I think that's the thing about dating though like when you're younger you feel like dates you know because when we first started dating right every weekend we had excursions. And when I mean excursions, there was always something that we were doing that involved spending a lot of money. And uh, who spent the money, me or you? Well, I mean, everybody knows Big Dog spent it. How, how, how do you think I got you? I mean, I know I'm good looking, but I had to have a little more than that. Okay, I feel like I'm. But I'm saying, but when you when you're dating and you're doing excursions and you're going places and you know you're 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 doing that sort of stuff, it's okay. But as you get married, yes, you do have a different level of responsibilities. So the dating doesn't stop, but it takes a different phase because now you have kids. Now kids, sometimes you know, if you want to do things like you were doing, you just have to be creative, and that's what I am really getting to. People understand. Adults understand that sometimes house note is a little more than eating at Shea Alexander's. Did nobody really ask you that? I'm just saying. Nobody See? Nobody asked. I was going to go the other way. No, nah, nobody want to go that way. Nobody even asked him that. Okay, so basically we don't do too much together. He is working a lot. If you guys have watched any of the past vlogs, um, you know that he's been gone just about the entire summer and we spent a couple of days with him while he was gone so we just try to make sure things like that happen that we do get to spend time with each other when he is around and but if not you know i'm holding it down me and coco but no i mean you've come out the same couple and of scenes and we oh, see see what i'm talking about people didn't want to hear that yeah, I mean, it's good to note that you have come out to a couple of cities and we have enjoyed the moments. All right. So, there we go on that note. All right. So, here's the next thing that people want to know. Are we vegans? So, I'll start that question. You know, thank you for asking. You got to say it right now. You got to say that's a good question. That's a good question. There you go. Thank you for asking that question, first of all. That's a good question. Thank you for asking it, first of all. Um, I am not a vegan, but I believe in vegetables. Mm, that's deep. <laughs> I'm pro-vegetable. And um, so there are a lot of things that vegans believe in and <laughs> you know, I'm just, I hadn't quite crossed over it that far with it, but you know, that's why me and vegetables get along. <laughs> what? That was deep because when you were saying there's some things you and vegan share, I was like, is she talking about the forks and the plates or the actual food? Yeah. Because, well, so to that point, that's a good question. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not vegan either, but I have practiced different forms of it at some point. More for like if I'm getting ready for like PT test, Mm -hmm. I've done the Daniel fast for like 21 days, which is, you know, no meat. Or then I'll practice maybe being a pescatarian, um, you know, trying to just eat fish. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, here's our last question, y'all. If we don't have that much time, I mean, we're probably going to do. Can we get. We got how many more questions right here? Okay. Probably got like 10 more questions, but we're only going to be able to answer like two more. So, because he, he likes to talk. I don't know. We're going to skip that question because I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. You want to answer that what question? What was the question? We're gonna skip it because the kid's in the car. Tell me. Okay, so. Tell me the answer. Tell what, me the question. Okay, so now they. Y'all is nosy. Okay, but I'm gonna answer because this is what we do. What is our favorite drinks? You talking about like Mountain Dew? Yeah, like we don't drink. First of all, we don't drink uh, and drink. Well, you know. We don't we drink, drink. drink. Daddy, you drink? Mommy, you drink? Mountain Dew is my favorite drink. We don't drink it all. Coke is my favorite drink. But I like, I have a penchant for tea and coffee. I like bland drinks. Like, not really, really sweet things. I like them to be pretty much bland. There you have it. Anything else that need to catch us on? uh... Do you know... When will y'all buy me skates by? Pass. Next question. When will y'all give me a uh, one, one of my kids, you, 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 if y'all fight. seen the last video, one of my kids broke their tooth. And so, skates and skateboards next, are just kind of out look. of the question. Next, okay, go ahead, Portland. I'm not Can we go swim today? Right now. Yeah, right now. All right, thank you guys for watching. I got a question. Okay, what? What's your favorite store? Favorite store? My favorite store? It's boring, y'all. Don't don't even get Okay, first of all, I don't know if I have, like, an exact favorite store. But I like the higher-end kind of stores. I like throw me in a Saks. Throw me in a Neiman Marcus. And I like good things. That's a good question, Cuppy. <laughs> and this is not to shade any stores because there are, you know, honorable mention with Target and Walmart, whatever. Right. Which, that's another conversation. But for me, any store that sells art supplies in abundance, I love it. I like to just go and touch the pencils and the coloring yeah. pencils and all of the, the above. So, yeah, if it's not Home Depot, it's going to be an art supply store. Thank you guys so much for watching Basically Tisha. Um, listen, I'm going to try to put out some videos all week. I hope that I meet my mandate and my goal uh, to put out some content. It's been a challenge in August, but we're believing God for good September, okay? So until next week, remember, I don't even know why I keep saying that. Bye. Bye.
So it took me a little while to get to the school. I didn't expect to see what I saw when I got to the school. It was very traumatic and she fell. Like she really fell and she really hurt herself. And no matter how I tried to get it in my head, she fell and she hurt herself. And I had to think quick and fast and not be so overwhelmed by my feelings, but taking consideration what she had been through in the 15 minutes that it took me to get there. And she probably had fallen maybe like five, two or three minutes before I got there. Um, we, we had quick thinking and we got her to the dentist as soon as we could get her to the dentist. Um, she has minor bruising. And she's gonna be okay. She's just gonna be back perfect like she was before. And I'm just thankful that my mom was there on the phone with me once I got to the school and we were able to get everything done. Pray for us.